Hello, this is Trevor Lewis from the Voyager Middle School Steam Lab. This is a real quick video to show you how to set the the stroke gradient as well as the fill gradient of an object. I drew a rectangle. I still have the rectangle tool selected and I'm just going to round my corners a little bit. You can see that I've got a fill set right now and I've got no stroke set, um, but you can see my opacity is not 100%. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to crank that back up to 100. It's just remembering the last thing I was doing. So to do a gradient, what I like to use is the gradient tool right here. And I did a previous video on this. And if I just click and drag, I can create a gradient. And right now I'm doing a stroke gradient, but you can't hardly see it because my stroke is not set very thick. So let's set it to a thicker value. And let's see, stroke. Uh, yeah, I'm set to one, let's set to six. There we go. And um, I didn't mean to be setting the stroke gradient. Let's set the fill gradient first. And I'm gonna draw a line for that. So now I've got a fill gradient, but you see my stroke gradient's still there. So by default, it goes from the color you have to the transparent of the color you have. But let's change that. I'm gonna go to a value range. Let's use yellow. I'm gonna select the top edge. I'm gonna go bright on the top. And I'm gonna select the bottom edge for the fill. And I'm gonna go dark, okay? that kind of creates some lighting effects. To do the stroke, I would just click over here to do the stroke gradient, and then I draw my line, which I already did here. So I don't actually need to do it again, but I'll, I'll do it again on another example. So now I can go over here to the stroke gradient, and I want to do the opposite. So on the top, I'm going to go dark, and on the bottom edge, I'm going to go light, so I get some contrast, and it kind of creates some contrast there. So that's an interesting effect that I've got going on there. Let's try again. I'm going to do a circle this time. This time you can see the circle is still set to that light yellow color, but I could do a gradient by going to gradient. This time I'm going to choose fill gradient and I'm going to choose a radial gradient and I'm going to start from the center. I'm going to start from like a, a spot right here where maybe like that's the highlight. I'm going to go outwards and um, let's set the center point there to a bright color. Let's go, let's go green this time. And then the end point to a dark color. And that makes it look like there's a light source on a 3D sphere. Okay, I'm going to switch back to the select tool. You can see my stroke is set to dark green right now. Um, and, it's, and let's set the stroke to, I'm going to set it to a different color so you can see it. I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to click a color. So now you can see there's my stroke and it's set to points, it's set to six. Let's go back to the gradient tool. I can adjust this gradient, or I can press this one to gradient the stroke, and I'm gonna make that a linear gradient instead of radial. And I'm gonna start with the light source, and I'm gonna go down to this edge. And you can see it's going from pink to clear, but I don't want that. I'm gonna want it to go from a color, so maybe like up here, I want it to be, uh, let's go a, a contrasty color. Let's go like yellow, not too contrasty. And then down here, since that's like underneath in the shadows, I'm going to go to like super dark yellow. So that way you can set the stroke and the fill gradient.